Okay, crowd-pleasing Caesar salad for the dressing half a cup of raw cashews. Oh, hey there, didn't see you there. So today I'm gonna make a crowd-pleasing Caesar salad. Cause, I mean, who doesn't love a good Caesar salad? Again, this is from my favorite cookbook, Oh She Glows Every Day, check it out. This is obviously um, a vegan cookbook, as I said in my previous video. So we're gonna be making a vegan Caesar salad and I'm super excited for it because it's vegan, gluten-free, grain-free, and it serves six people. Step one, let's make this dressing. Okay, so the cashews is the base. Place cashews into a bowl and add water to cover a couple of inches. Soak for 30 minutes. Oh no. Okay, so <laughs> should have done this before, but we gotta soak these for 30 minutes. So let's go do that. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just gonna grab my bowl. It says a half a cup of raw cashews. This is a full cup. That's about half. And I do have the water boiling, so let's pop some water in there and get those cashews, um, what, what am I doing? Soaked. Okay, so that has to soak for 30 minutes, as I just said. So let's move on to the next step. Make the garlic roasted chickpeas. Okay, step two. Make the garlic, ro garlic roasted chickpeas, which is the croutons, okay? Preheat the oven, boom, it's already done. I did that, I did one thing right so far. Line a large baking sheet with parchment paper. Here we go, boop. Place the chickpeas in a dishcloth and rub dry. It's okay if some skin falls off. Here's the chickpeas. Can opener. Let me just go rinse that. So it wants me to really dry out the chickpeas. So I've just got some paper towel. Pop these on the paper towel. Spread them out. Don't worry, I wash my hands, okay? It's not like you're eating it. And then the next, spread the chickpeas out on the baking sheet. Drizzle with oil and roll the chickpeas around with your hands to coat. Is this how you do it? I don't know. I'm just following the recipe, but if anybody has any recommendations on how to do it better, let me know. Okay, so that's probably enough. Let's go like this. A little bit of that. Okay, whew. Wait. Nice. Yeah, I can see that all the moisture is now in the paper towel. Most of it anyways, and not on the chickpeas. Here we go. Spread them out nicely. Drizzle with oil and roll the, roll the chickpeas around. Okay, here's the oil. Roll them around. Okay, sprinkle on the garlic powder, salt, and cayenne, and gently shake the pan until combined. What? Combined. I'm gonna put a little bit of red pepper chili flakes, because I don't have cayenne. So, boop, garlic powder and salt. Oh, half a teaspoon. Okay, here's a teaspoon, so we'll just do half. So just shake it all around. A little bit of salt. Not too much salt though, because the chickpeas already have a lot of salt. And then a little bit of these red pepper chili flakes. Again, it calls for cayenne, but I don't, I don't got it. Not too much though, because that's, unless you like hot, right? If you like it to be hot, pop them on there. But I don't like super spicy foods. So I would say that's nice and combined. Gonna wash my hands again. Well, can you actually see it? There we go, let's move all these ingredients out of the way. I've got this, I've got the oven on. It says now to roast for 15 minutes, then gently roll the chickpeas around on the baking sheet and roast for 15 to 20 minutes more. 
until golden. So this is really gonna dry out the chickpeas, apparently. And once they come out of the oven, it says they're gonna be a little bit soft, but as they cool down, they'll firm up, kind of resembling a crouton-like texture. Step three, make the lettuce. I mean, wash the lettuce. So what I'll do is chop it, then wash it. Um, I mean, you can tear it if you want, but look how easy that was to chop. Like, why wouldn't you just chop it? Look how quick that was. If I was tearing it, I'd still be tearing it. Okay, let's just look at this lettuce and see, like, are these pieces like, oh, that one's not good. I think I'm happy with this. So let's put this into our bowl. Freshly washed romaine lettuce, boom. It doesn't necessarily say to dry the lettuce. I don't like super soaked lettuce. I like it to be a little bit drier. And I actually learned in home ec class in grade 11 or 12, if you do this and then put it in the fridge for like however long until you're serving it, it becomes nice and crispy and cold. Moving on to step four is making the vegan Parmesan cheese. Luckily, I have already made that. Check out the short on how to make the X amount of ingredient Parmesan cheese. I couldn't tell you how many ingredients, maybe three or four. Here it is. It's ground up cashews, garlic powder, salt, and nutritional yeast. And that nutritional yeast is what gives it that cheesy flavor, which is quite exciting actually. So. There we go, that's made already. Check out the short on how to make it if you want to. Let's head back to our step one, making the dressing. It's been about half an hour since I started soaking the cashews, so I'm gonna go ahead and rinse those. So the dressing requires a blender, a cup to put things into the blender, and then the ingredients. So let's read about these ingredients. We need half a cup of raw cashews, Transfer the cashews to a high speed blender and add the remaining dressing ingredients except the salt. And pop those into the blender. And it wants me to add the ingredients. Or does it want me to blend the cashews first? Transfer the cashews to a high speed blender and add the remaining dressing ingredients. I think it just wants me to do this and then add the ingredients. A quarter cup of water. Let's see, two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. Two tablespoons or two, yeah, two tablespoons. One tablespoon of fresh lemon juice. One and a half teaspoons of Dijon mustard. One, and there's about half. Remember, it's not baking, so like, if you overdo it or underdo it, it's not gonna make a huge difference one or two cloves of garlic to taste. Here we go. Now I saw this trick. You're supposed to just go in and grab the, the clove. And then you don't have to peel it. <laughs> it worked. And it also wants garlic powder. Damn, this is gonna be garlicky. Okay, okay. <laughs> there, that's enough garlic powder. Half a teaspoon, good enough. What else do we got? We've got Worcestershire, 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 whatever. We've got W sauce. Okay, one and a half teaspoons of Worcestershire sauce. There's one. There's one and a half. Ooh, smells pretty good. Next is two and a half teaspoons of capers. I got these from the store. Took me a long time to find these. These are a little thing in a random spot in the store. I've never worked with capers before. So, so two and a half teaspoons of capers. So I've just turned the chickpeas over and set another timer for 20 minutes. Hopefully that'll crispify them up for those crunchy croutons that we want. So what's next on this list? We got the capers, freshly ground black pepper. How much? Half a teaspoon. Blend on high until the dressing is super smooth. 
that's locked in. Well, to me, this looks like ranch dressing. It smells like ranch dressing too. Got my bowl. Let's check on those chickpeas. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> so, they're roasted. They're roasty toasty. Mmm. It, it does have a good crunch though. So I've got my bowl of romaine lettuce. I've got my dressing. I've got my Parmesan cheese. Two. That's obviously more than a tablespoon, but this actually lasts four months in the fridge and or pantry. It does not have perishable ingredients in here, so you do not have to put it in the fridge. I just like it cold. Ooh. Okay. Actually, I'm gonna put that in last. Let's go grab those chickpeas. It stays up pretty well. This parchment paper is stiff. Last but not least, the make or break dressing. Woo! Time to toss. My favorite part. <laughs> oh, seasoned with freshly ground black pepper. For the taste test, does it taste like it? It looks like it. It Definitely smells like it. Here we go. We gotta get a chickpea crouton, we gotta get the dressing, and we gotta get some lettuce. Bon appetit. <laughs> it's good. It is good. Yeah! It tastes like dressing. <laughs> It tastes like Caesar salad. Well guys, that's it for today. Did you like the video? If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Comment below if you try the recipe. Let me know if you like it. If you're not subscribed yet, make sure you do. Hit that subscribe button and notification so you can see when our next video comes out. Cheers.